Right, I am just at the last nuclear power plant and I am putting it on now and it's running and we are done. Everything built, finished, fueled the lot. It's all running. Hey, you're here. Where have you been? It, this feels like such a long project and it feels like it's way longer than what it should have been for two people. What have you been up to? So, anyway, at least you are here now. So, do you want a tour? Yeah, sure. It it looks done. Um it is. Let, let's let's see what we both achieved. So, down here, you can see the nuclear waste coming out of the nuclear plants here and occasionally you'll see nuclear fuel rods being fed in to each nuclear power plant it's nicely timed though so that just as they're about to run out of a nuclear fuel rod a new one comes in so it doesn't happen very often but the waste coming out happens quite a lot so the waste comes out all gets gathered up this way and it heads over into this nice glass building on your left which we'll cover later. Okay, I'm getting on with this glass building for the nuclear production area. Can I have some silica, please? You were supposed to be bringing it to me a good while ago now. So, we're making fuel rods in here. So if you look up at the ceiling, you'll see our spaghetti of conveyor belts there that's taking the fuel rods up and distributing them distributing them yep, to each nuclear power plant and these pieces of kit down here are all producing the fuel rods again you'll see them coming out occasionally and if we go down a layer so here we are come past the nice uh, radioactive signs and things I got bored one time and I, and I was waiting for you to, to catch up or bring me some stuff. And in here we're bringing in the raw uranium. And it's being converted into mid-stage products that get sent up and converted into nuclear fuel rods. You can see down here we've got the sink again to get rid of the uranium ore should we need to. Have a look at this this is a bit of artistic building we've got the waterfall coming through the back of the building and going through these little grates again i just got bored while i was waiting for you to arrive or do something you must have been off doing something else i'm sure i was off doing something super important yeah you'll have been building something yeah 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 it's very imposing building the nuclear building yeah. Here we have our main supply of nuclear waste coming down this concrete column and coming into our waste factory. This building, we have set it up so that we can just cater for more waste than the nuclear power plants can ever produce. So we should always be slightly ahead. So the waste comes in here, and then yep. where did it's I tell split. it to go? Here, it gets split equally. So it gets split in half and then half again, so that each blender is getting a quarter of the waste. So they're always processing waste. We have our various other products coming in that's needed here, and that's all split between the blenders. This then makes the non-fissile uranium, which gets gathered together on the ceiling level belts and sent up to the next floor. It is nice, isn't it? So in here we've got three particle accelerators and everything gets split between them and additional products that they need. So the non-fissile uranium gets fed in. 
and these do their magic and turn it into enclosed plutonium cells. That all gets gathered up again on the ceiling and sent up to the next level. Everything comes in, everything gets split to manufacturers that are making plutonium fuel rods and then the plutonium fuel rods are put into a sink because that's the earliest product that you can sink from nuclear waste. Okay, so that's the blenders done in the waste processing facility. Are you happy to finish them off and sort out the waste water from the blenders? Oh, yep, yep, all in hand, no worries. Sure? Yeah. Yeah, so originally we just didn't do anything with the blenders, the water that they were producing, and obviously they filled up with water and then decided to shut down. We then tried to feed that excess water into the process somewhere, but it was being a bit odd and it wasn't always taking water from the blenders, it was sometimes taking it from other places, so eventually they filled up. You then did this nice facility under here of packaging the water so beneath me here you can see lots of water extractors these are all doing different things and they are now all color coded thank you for doing that that does help for which process they get used in decided to go at the top of the waterfall here as that means we have less need for pumps as everything's going downhill to the factory down there took a while setting all these water pumps up and all the piping for them all Okay, so in the back corner here, we have some of the raw resources coming in that's used throughout the raft. So we've got uh, limestone, coal, iron ore, and we are coming into some refineries here. These first set here are making concrete. Okay, so I've just set up the steel foundry, 60 minutes, is that correct? Is that right? Um, uh, yeah, 60, I see 60. Excellent. Go to the next thing then. And this set over here is making iron ingots. The iron ingots are then fed round to these foundries. And we're making a couple of different things, including steel ingots. Oh, we've got one little thing down here, our little constructor making iron plates. Steel ingots are used in a couple of different processes. We're making steel beams. And then over here, all these constructors are making steel pipe. And the steel pipe goes on to be used in a number of different processes as well. So over this way, we're taking the concrete and the steel pipe. And that's how we're getting our industrial beams or industrial pipes. So over in this corner, we're bringing in sulfur from a mine over there, and it's going into these refineries and we're making sulfuric acid. So just over here, we've got a couple of foundries and we are making our copper ingots using copper ore and iron ore. And the copper ingots come out, fed into these constructors here where we're making wire. We've got our Caterium supply going into smelters. We're making Caterium ingots. And these Caterium ingots are fed into these constructors, making loads and loads of quick wire. Some assemblers here making heat sinks from all of our aluminium processes here, where we're making our aluminium bad sheets from aluminium ingots and copper again. So 
Exactly. Do you want to come over here and show the good people the nice glass bridge with all the products in? Ah, yes, your famous glass walkway. So what have we got? We've got aluminium casing, heat sinks, silica, electromagnetic control rods, steel beams, encased steel beams, and concrete. Yep. And that all gets fired along that bridge and gets taken off and used wherever it's needed. We've also got the sulfuric and nitric acid coming along in the pipes. Yep. And Strapped to the, the side. canisters on the other side. It's a very yeah. efficient use of the space. Okay, so all done, but I've noticed something. Mm -hmm. I've built all the raft. Right. All the waste area. Yeah. And everything in that production building, all the nuclear plants, everything. Ooh, what are you getting at? Well, what have you done? Gotta go. Take me back to a place where I felt at home Take me back to a day when we weren't alone Take me back to an age when the world felt small Way back before we blew it all